lot of bridges and paths and passages here, so got a feeling we're going to have to get ourselves way down in the bottom of things here to probably find his tools. We got something moving around up ahead of us. That's one of those guys. Let's head down here, see if we can find his tools down here somewhere. these tools there we go some electronic scrap more electronic scrap all right let's give her a quick save Gravium shard, into gravium shard. All right, get that. Hang on up here. Nope. Couple of those aloes. Check up in here. Make sure there's no goodies tucked away in the back corner. The gravium shard. Vasily's tools and see if he'll help us fix our scanner. See now, uh, oh yeah, up around this way. Certainly a lot of blood root and that kind of stuff all over the place here. Got a feeling that, uh, you know, gathering that up and selling it for uh, the antigravium shards is certainly the way to go. Right now, I'm more concerned about seeing, seeing the content. Now, somewhere here we got them... Space hogs just circle around them. I say I'd rather not tangle with anything. I'd rather advance the quest line and see what we got. Pull that out just in case. Myself a little turned around. That was a holster up our weapon. Let's give Vasily his tools. Wait, what? Desert melon. Alright, well, now we know what kind of plants it is that, uh, for all we know, you know, those critters over there could have been type of animal we're looking for. Hey, Vasily. Found your tools. Excellent. Now I can actually fix that clunker. If only I had enough scrap. 
What about the stuff on the shelves? That's not nearly enough. If you come into possession of, say, half a dozen mechanical scrap, bring it to me. I won't forget to favor. I'll keep it in mind. Can you help me fix my scanner? Let me see. Well, it seems like a case of a blown fuse I can replace it with my eyes closed. Bring some electronic scrap and I'll fix it for you. Give him the scrap. Alright. So we got that part sorted out. What we've got in this, maybe we can find some scrap for you. You can teach me anything. Not here, not now. Okay. So apparently we need to bring him more scrap yet. I have a couple questions. How... How long to the nearest town? Half a day on a hover bike, more than one day on a good Arfant. A week on foot with all chances to die on the way, especially if you're not from around here. Alright, so clearly... Better go to the fort and wait for a trading caravan there. And how do I get to this fort? Go up the river, you won't miss it. When you see the big bridge, you'll know. Okay. I'll be going. were whether or not they're hostile let's save wonder if they're supposed to be like the equivalent to buffalo or if they're like wild boars or what oh they're hostile for it. Bastard. I will chop your cow butt. Yep. <laughs> Alright, note to self. You're hostile. Now we know. But apparently only if you get too close to him. We do got those stupid things down there. They are definitely hostile. They come straight at us.
getting really hot, better turn back. Okay. That must be... It's either deep desert... Hello. Nothing in it. That sucks. Okay, we're taking heat from the desert, apparently. Yeah, that must... Either that or we were taking damage from the green. Is that what it was? Nope. Okay, it is the location. So, translation. Can't go out in the deep desert. Sand sharks. So basically, anytime we come across one of these signs, it gives us the opportunity to travel. this way. It does seem like the various levels are pretty inclusive. So I mean if you if you choose a different direction you eventually you know get back to to a previously spotted area. 